So normally a carpet plant in the aquarium is something that's quite hard to achieve. Um, plants like Cuba and Glosso, the more popular aquarium carpet plants, um, they require CO2, high lighting um, and fertilizers and things like that. This plant here though however, S Repens, doesn't require any CO2, any expensive lights or anything fancy like that. Um, in this tank I don't use any of that, it's just a cheap LED light and I actually use a few root tabs. Um, the root tabs that I use are from Seachem, so I've just got a few of those. Um, and those root tabs last about three to four months before you have to replace them and I might not even replace them to be honest the plant grows well enough without adding root tabs I've actually had this plant now in this tank for about three months when I first bought it it came in long strands and I just snipped them all down into small individual pieces um, just a couple of leaves on each one and planted them around the tanks sparsely and then now they've all grown in after three four months they've all grown in really well so what I'm going to do is show you how to propagate this plant and how to fill in the gaps and get it to spread across the whole tank what you want to do is find one of the taller plants snip it off and then just strip some of the lower leaves to expose some of the stem and then you just push that stem into one of the gaps in the substrate So the S Repens is a really good carpet plant, especially for beginners who own a low-tech aquarium. Remember though that when you first get the plant, to cut them up into small pieces and plant them around the tank sparsely. Eventually the floor of the tank will grow in and it will create a nice carpet. Sometimes these plants can even grow horizontally. At first the plant might not look like it's doing too well. If you just leave it be to establish in the tank, then eventually it will grow out really well. And you won't really have to do much to it. It's just a really low maintenance plant. It doesn't grow too fast either, so the only reason you'll need to cut it 
is when you need to propagate it and fill in some of the gaps and eventually you should end up with a carpet in the aquarium just like this one.